CDC wants to alert you about a concerning AI scam. Thieves are using the technology to mimic the voice of loved ones and then get money from their victims. ABC's Ariel Reshef explains what you need to do to protect yourself. Lee Hall says his parents received a distress call they thought was their grandson Christian. He told his grandfather that he was vacationing in Mexico with his friends, got in trouble, scared to death. He got into a little bit of drinking and got into an accident, and now that's the reason why uh, he's in a little bit of trouble and he needs some money to get him out of that situation. The voice so convincing, pleading for help and money, but the person on the other end of the line wasn't their grandson at all. You see, that story is very believable. What is scary is my father's totally off the grid. He doesn't have any social media accounts. He doesn't, he doesn't even have an email. But the fact they still connected my son with him, I think it makes it even scarier. Lee's parents only realizing they'd been scammed later that day. We knew he was in Dallas, so we called him right away. And he says, yes, mom, I'm in college in Dallas, so we know it's a scam. After sending $1,000. When you're in anxiety and panic, I think logic is thrown out the window. And that's what the scammers are betting on. So now we have to raise our level of sophistication so these things don't happen to our loved ones. And the halls aren't alone. An Arizona mom falling victim to the voice cloning hoax. It's my daughter's voice crying and sobbing. I'm um, saying, Mom, and I'm like, OK, what happened? She's like, Mom, these bad men have me. Help me, help me. Meanwhile, her daughter was entirely safe, enjoying a ski trip. The Federal Trade Commission says scammers are easily able to use AI to clone voices with a short audio clip often found on social media. Impersonator scams were the highest reported scams in 2022, resulting in $2.6 billion in losses. They're exploiting the connection we have to our relatives and our friends to try to get people to turn over money or turn over personal information in a way that can cause a lot of harm.